Hi, um, it's been a while since I've done a grocery haul and there's been a lot of reasons for that. I actually haven't done like really big hauls lately because we have been working on a huge project in, at our house and it's just kind of been all consuming and it, it involved our driveway so I didn't have access to our garage for a while and it's taken a lot longer, it still isn't finished, a lot longer than we were anticipating. So I had been putting off doing large hauls because I didn't want to have to lug all of our groceries from the street to the house um, and over dirt. So um, I just haven't, I haven't done large hauls. Um, and I've kind of been in a funk lately too. I've been trying to use up whatever we've had in the house and the last few nights I just have not wanted to make dinner and it just shows how important it is for me to have a meal plan in place because it is really hard for me to come up with stuff on the fly. I've been doing it but um, it's been hard so I'm trying to get back in the groove of things and I'm gonna take you along with me at least on these first few hauls. They aren't super big yet but I went out last night uh, mainly because there were some good prices on a few items at a store including boneless skinless chicken breasts um, so I wanted to pick those up so I could start getting some meals in my freezer and have things planned and prepped um, and ready to go when dinner time came. So I'm going to show you what this first haul is and then I'm going to be um, prepping all of my chicken today and then heading out again to another store um, to go get some more um, ingredients and sale items. So I will be filming that in a little bit as well. So this is almost everything that I got last night at Sprouts. Um, almost everything here was on sale, which is why I went ahead and picked it up. Um, and really the main thing I was going for, in all honesty, were those blueberries. My son absolutely loves blueberries and they have not been good prices for a number of months now. Um, so they just started getting back to good prices. So I really wanted to pick some up for him because he absolutely loves them. I actually got nine six ounce containers at 98 cents a container. Um, there's actually only eight stacked up right there because we have already gone through actually one and a half of them between last night and this morning with him. So um, that's what those are. Over here you'll notice here and here a number of cereals. I don't normally pick up this many cereals for my children. They, if you've seen my other hauls, I, I mean, I, the last time I bought cereal for them was for the end of the school year. I bought one special box of it, but these were a really good price for sugary cereals and for um, healthier-ish cereals, if you will. Um, they are normally $4 a box and I got them at $2 a box. So that was a really great price, but they're made with whole grain, um, whole grains, no artificial flavors or preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup, and no hydrogenated oils. So it's better if you're going to eat cereal. And like I said, they don't eat this. This is not an everyday thing. It's only for special times. And then I do bring a box or two when we go camping. So these are called Malo Oats. So they have little marshmallows in them. I got two boxes of that. And then this crispy cocoa rice cereal. I would have gotten a second box of this, but they only had one there. Um, and then over here, these ones spoke to me more than I know they will to my kid. But um, sweetened wheat foals, so like just the, you know, like the shredded wheat type. Um, I don't remember what they're called, but with a little bit of sugar on them and then the berry version of that. So those sounded really good to me. So those are more for me to eat. Um, then back here, I got a couple um, yogurts. These were 99 cents each. Um, and I just, we've never tried this brand before and I thought we'd give it a shot. Um, so we got two strawberry pomegranate ones. Um, so I thought we'd get grass fed yogurt and try that out. Um, that won't be a regular purchase. I just thought it would be fun to try. Um, over here, a container of Campari tomatoes, which I have never had this type of tomato. They were just the best priced tomatoes in the store. It was $1.50 for this container. Uh, it's a one pound container of tomatoes, which is really good price. Um, but the lady in front of me at checkout said they are like the best tomatoes ever. Um, so she was trying to convince me to go get a second container, but I wasn't about to walk back in the store. Plus we have tomatoes growing in our garden currently. So I am just buying tomatoes to get us through until those are ripe to eat. I got a stock of celery. This was $1.49 or 47 for the bunch. Um, not an amazing price for celery, but I wanted to have it on hand um, for some recipes. And I've just, for some reason, been needing celery and I haven't had it. I got two sweet potatoes, or they called them red yams. Um, it was 
three pounds total, I want to say. If I'm remembering correctly. No, two pounds at $1.49 a pound, so it was $3. And then back here I got some organic Cameo apples. Um, only purchased them because they were 98 cents a pound, which was a good price. I don't know that I've ever had these type of apples before, um, but they look nice and firm and that's what I look for in apples. So I'm hoping they taste good and I think they will. And I got um, four pounds of that at 98 cents a pound. So just under $4 for that. And then the last thing in this haul is chicken. This is not all the chicken I purchased. I only wanted to bring one, one package out of the refrigerator. I actually got just under 29 pounds of chicken. I practically cleaned them out. It was $1.99 a pound for boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I don't buy organic um, chicken because it's just so expensive. We eat so much of it. Um, <clears throat> but I do try to buy higher quality chicken if I'm going to. And so I only buy it from a couple of different stores that I know the quality is good. Um, so this is one of those stores. So $1.99 a pound is actually for me, a good price um, for better quality chicken, in my opinion. Um, so this is what I am going to be processing today for meals. And so in total, all of this, I spent $88.14. And quickly, I'm going to share with you the meals that I'm going to be prepping today with that chicken, as well as some of the other meals that we're going to be having for the next two to three weeks, um, just depending on how far I can make it stretch. I'm hoping I can make it stretch for three weeks. All right, first I'm gonna apologize. The kids are playing in the room right next to me, so if they get a little noisy, sorry about that. Um, hopefully you can still hear me okay. So I'm just gonna be looking down at my menu plan. Um, we are going to be having barbecue chicken wraps, um, and I do have a video on that, so I will try to link that above for you. Um, it's a wonderful recipe. My oldest daughter requests it quite often for us to have it. It's super easy, really delicious, perfect for summertime, so go check it out if you haven't already. Um, we're gonna have, I think this is a new recipe for orange chicken that I've never tried. A number of these are new recipes I've never tried before. So if I can, I'll try to record them for you so you can um, uh, check them out as well. Or if I can find the links to them again, I'll put them in the description box below. So orange chicken, um, the best oven fried chicken, um, three ingredient brown sugar Italian chicken, slow cooker sour cream and onion chicken, chicken Monterey, world's best chicken, Mediterranean lemon rosemary chicken, that's one we've had and we enjoy. Chicken curry with coconut milk, another one that we like a lot. And then Mississippi chicken, that's a favorite for my husband and myself. My kids don't really care for it, but we love it. You can hear my son, right? Um, and then in addition to that, things that I already have in the freezer that we're also gonna be incorporating into our meal plan, um, I have meat ready for hamburgers, um, also taco meat that's already prepped and cooked just frozen um, pasta with meatballs. I bought a big bag of meatballs from Costco just the other day. So we have that and we have enough of each of those three that we could have those at least twice during the next couple of weeks. So um, that's kind of how it's getting filled in and then leftovers. Um, and I'm sure we'll probably eat out at least, I'm sure we'll eat out at least once in there. We don't eat out very often, um, but we do every once in a while. So. I'm gonna get going before the noise level escalates anymore and get that chicken prepped. And then I'm gonna hopefully add on right after this, my next haul, um, I'm hoping to get over to Stater Brothers. So hopefully that'll be, you'll be watching that right now. So it is many hours later. I did get all of that chicken um, cut up and prepped. And if it needed a marinade, I put that in with it, got everything in freezer um, bags and in the freezer. So. All of that is ready to go. Um, did lunch, cleaned up from that, put the baby down for a nap, and then headed out to the store with one of my kiddos. And we ended up... Hey, hi. <laughs> we ended up going to three stores. I knew for sure we were gonna go to one and possibly two, but we were in the area of that third store. And I try to get to some of these stores only once a month. I can once every other month that hasn't been happening lately just because of lack of room in our fridge and freezer 
but um, that way when I go out and get fill in, do fill in grocery trips, um, I mainly just go to Costco or one other local store to get fresh produce and milk and any other miscellaneous thing I may have forgotten throughout the month. So I really try to just cram it all in if I can. And since I was in the area, I did. So the first store I went to was Stater Brothers. And I don't know if that's just a California store or Southern California store, but um, they have really good prices on meat when they're on sale. So that's what I went there for. I did forget to mention when I was telling you my meal plans, and I'll try to list all the meals below, um, that a couple of the meals, and I'm doubling up on them, are going to be done with beef. And then um, I also had another meal um, that I just found from another YouTuber. It was a chicken sausage apple sweet potato skillet um, meal and it sounded really good so that's what those sweet potatoes were for and I needed to pick up the sausage and oh and those apples were for it as well so um, I forgot to mention that in my meal plan and I need to write that down um, so that I don't forget that I have the ingredients for all of that all right so let's get into the rest of my hauls one last thing I wanted to mention I forgot um, is that this is not everything. What I'm showing you today is not everything mm -hmm. that's needed for all of these meals. Um, I had a number of things on hand because I actually purchased some of the stuff for these meals last month and then we never ended up making the meals last month. So I have a number of items on hand from previous shopping trips. So I just wanted to mention that. Okay, so this is Stater Brothers. They had a good price on 18 count large eggs, $1.47 I want to say, um, for each. So I picked up four of those. I am also planning to make um, like little egg cups. Um, I send one of those with my husband on days that he does a workout um, so that he gets some extra protein. So I needed to pick up extra eggs for that and some other ingredients. So I'm going to be making those soon once I get a little more room in the freezer to store them afterwards. Then this is the beef that I went to go pick up. It's London Broil. And it was $2.99 a pound, which is an excellent price for it. And they have really good cuts of it. So I picked up two around three pound cuts and then two more that were around two and a half pounds. So um about five and a half pounds per meal that I'm doing so one more actually one set we're actually having tonight I'm grilling it I just sprinkle some Montreal seasoning on it and um, grill it up and then the other one is for um, kind of like a roast a very slow cooking roast that I've done and so last time I made it we just loved it so much I wish I had done a double amount of it so that's why I picked up enough to do kind of two meals and same with tonight's it's going to be enough for two meals and probably lunches. All right, over here. Um, for produce, I've got some, a bunch of cilantro, which if I remember quite correctly, this was for the chicken curry meal. And then grapes were 98 cents, I wanna say, a pound, so I picked up some of those. Strawberries were 99 cents for a one pound clam shell, so I got two of those. We actually still have strawberries in the refrigerator, but um, since it was a good price, I wanted to pick up more because we love strawberries. Then these pineapples were 99 cents each and they smelled really good. So um, I'm looking forward to that. All of us love pineapple. Over here, I picked up some Chobani yogurt. This is the yogurt I normally purchase um, and it was on sale for a dollar each. And I normally buy it at Costco um, and in that variety you get blueberry, peach, black cherry, and strawberry. Um, and we're running low on those and I purposely did not pick up more the last time I went to Costco because I was going to be just picking some up at Walmart because I can get, um, they have lime and coconut which we love both of those flavors. I can get that in a four pack at Walmart and it's a decent price if you break it out. Um, per container, it's like three fifty. I saw today for the four pack, which is comparable to what Costco sells when you break it out individually. And these were a dollar each on sale, so it's more expensive, but it's fun to try other flavors every once in a while. Otherwise, if we just get burned out on the ones from Costco, so we picked up some raspberry, blackberry, lemon, kiwi, which I thought was really interesting, and mango. So those will be fun to try. Back here, I got a 32 ounce bag of Monterey Jack shredded cheese, and that was $7.99 for the bag, which was a decent price. 
And then I picked up four of these Lunchables. They were 99 cents each. My kids really enjoy them, and I do not buy them very often. It's more so for um, when we go out and like maybe go to the park or do a family walk and we're going to be out for lunch or something like that. It's just quick and easy to have on hand. Um, so since they were on sale and I haven't bought them in a long time, I went ahead and picked them up. So for all of this, the total came out to... $70.42. So next we went to Walmart. And as you can see, it's not a super big haul. Um, but we just got the things that we really needed um, to go along with the rest of our meal. So this is um, some chicken sausage. That um, chicken apple sausage. I've never tried it before. But it's going to be in that skillet of meal I was talking about. So I got two 12-ounce packs. And then I'm hoping that there will be enough leftovers for a second meal out of it. Um, back here, sorry for the shadows. Um, I've got three of these Hillshire Farm sausage links. Um, they're turkey kielbasa. Um, I normally buy the turkey kielbasa, but this is the first time I've seen an uncured um, version of it. And my kids love um, this sausage. It's kind of when we make kind of our own Lunchables. Um, they love this um, with cheese and sometimes they eat crackers, sometimes not, but all of us love this. So I just like to have these on hand to be able to do a quick, easy lunch. So I was excited to see that they had the uncured version. So there's no nitrates or nitrates added to it. So hopefully it tastes just as good as the other type. Then we got some yogurt, um, 32 ounce, I believe, containers of it. Yes, 32 ounce containers. I always try to get Mountain High because it has less added sugar than other types. All done. No more bananas right now, baby. No, all done with banana. And so I got three of the vanilla flavor. We use that mostly just for smoothies. And then I got one Greek plain yogurt and I use that for my son in the mornings. Um, I mix it with some baby food and to flavor it for him. And that's his breakfast. I don't normally buy the Greek one, um, but it's all they had. And normally I buy a different one. Then I got a 16 ounce container of cottage cheese. That I'm going to add into those muffin cups. I haven't done that before, but I have a different recipe for an egg souffle and it adds cottage cheese in. So I thought for added protein, might as well. Then I got a container of, it's a five ounce um, can of water chestnuts. And that, and sorry I'm sniffing so much. I am still trying to get over being sick. Um, that I decided to throw into one of the recipes, the orange chicken recipe. I just thought it sounded good to go with it, so um, I got it for that. And if I don't happen to use it, there's other meals that I use that with. Then I got two boxes of the onion soup mix. Um, I was just a minute, baby. All out of that, and I know for sure I'm going to be using two packets with that roast I was talking about. Back there, I have a strawberry cake mix, and that is for my daughter who is turning four at the end of this month, and that's what she wanted for her cake. No, sweetheart. Sorry, my son wants my phone. Then back here, let me see if I can get it for you. Um, this was an impulse buy. My daughter who was with me saw these as a pudding um, popsicle type thing. There was a kit for it, and so I, I have popsicle kit type things where you can make your own popsicles so I picked up the pudding mix so we can make them at home then got a can of spray olive oil um, and then three containers of or jars of pasta sauce so I have a three cheese blend roasted garlic parmesan and a mushroom flavored one so just got some to have on hand for if we do like pasta or anything like that I'm on my last jar right now so that was everything from Walmart all right and the last store we went to was Trader Joe's and as you can see an even smaller <laughs> trip there um, but like I said I have a lot of things on hand and didn't really need much from them but we were in the area and so I just thought I'd pick up a few things that we were running low on so I, I we would just have them for the rest of the month and into the next month even so to start out over here I absolutely love the cilantro salad dressing and it is fairly low in calories only 45 um, grams per 45 grams 45 calories per two tablespoons and that's a regular serving size so it's actually fairly good um, this is 
the barbecue sauce that I always get for any time we need barbecue sauce, the Kansas City style barbecue sauce. And down here, got some crumbled gorgonzola cheese. We love this on salad as well as on our homemade pizza. Eggplant hummus. I tried this for the first time, the last time I went to Trader Joe's, and I really enjoyed it. So I got some more of that. Some tzatziki sauce, uh, or dip, I should say. Love that as well. Some uncured black forest ham. This will be getting chopped up and going into those egg cups. Um, and then I also put Swiss cheese in that, and I already had plenty of Swiss cheese on hand. This um, pepperoni, one of these packs does us for a homemade pizza. I don't have homemade pizza on the menu right now, but I just like to have it on hand so that in case we get a hankering for it, I already have this ready to go since I don't go to Trader Joe's that often. Um, I just wanted to pick it up, so I had it on hand. Um, down here, got some sliced mushrooms. Um, this, I don't have a particular recipe for that needs it, but I thought it would taste good um, in that roast that I'm doing, so I thought I might just throw those in there to go with it. Um, some shredded carrots. I do need this for, it may have been the orange chicken recipe, I can't remember, but I do need shredded carrots, plus I like having these on hand for salads. Then a package of garlic naan bread. Love this. we will go with our chicken curry. We actually already had plenty in our freezer, and I just wasn't aware of it. Um, so I just picked up one bag, which I'm glad I only picked up one. But we also use this as a side um, for other meals, too. And then this was my impulse buy there. They were having samples of this, and my daughter and I tried it. And it was really good. It wasn't too sweet, um, but it was tasty. And so we thought we'd pick up one jar um, just to share for the family. It won't, it won't last very long, but it's something. So all of this was a total of twenty, yeah, $29.79. And that will do it for all of my hauls, my grocery hauls for this month for now. Like I said, I will go out to Costco and another local store um, as needed to get more produce and milk. Um, but otherwise, we should be set for about a month. I think because I think um, I'll be able to stretch a lot of these meals out to last us more like four weeks instead of the three weeks that I was hoping. So thank you so much for watching and if there's anything that you particularly enjoy getting at one of the stores that I visited today let me know in the comments below um, so I can check out those items as well. I will see you in my next video. Bye!